So as you all know, I've been testing out Noitem's new motion capture solution for a couple of weeks. So in this video, I will just give you my thoughts about Noitem's newest mocap. Now just a disclaimer, they did loan the Perception Neuron 3 to me, so big thanks to Noitem for that. Now let's begin with the things I really liked about the Perception Neuron 3. First, I really like the design of the suit. Strap-based, wireless, and the sensors are so small it didn't really get in the way of things. It is still a Velcro system, but compared to my Perception Neuron 32, the PN3 had less Velcro materials, which is a huge plus in my opinion. Additionally, it is super portable. It comes in a small case, so it doesn't draw too much attention when I was traveling. Now, the next thing I liked about this system is the ease of use. Installing the sensors on the suit was pretty simple and getting the software running was pretty easy as well although I still went on their website just to make sure I didn't forget any steps when setting it up for the first time. Now speaking of setting it up, probably the best feature of the PN3 compared to my older V32 is the software that comes with the PN3 Axis Studio. It has options to export and stream Unreal Engine skeletons. That means you do not have to do any manual retargeting, say change a T post or an A post or an A post to a T post. You just import it and it will work with Unreal Engine mannequins out of the box and you can stream it to Unreal Engine 4 mannequins out of the box as well. Granted, it is still in beta, so just do keep that in mind. Now next up is the quality of the motion capture. One of the questions I got a lot with the PN3 was that is it worth upgrading from the V32? Now my answer is absolutely. I mean if you have the cash, I would say go for it. Don't get me wrong, the version 32 is still a really good mocap for the price. I mean when I got it, it was like $1700. But the PN3, I had less foot sliding and magnetic interference. So the last thing I really liked about the PN3 is the price. I mean you can get the Perception Neuron 3 suit for $2400 that comes with head and hand tracking. But if you want to get the finger tracking, you'll have to buy the gloves for $600. But if a phone can cost $1500 nowadays compared to how much it actually costs to make them, $3,000 for an entire mocap suit is really not that bad. And additionally, the software is free. You don't have to pay a monthly fee for it. You get it for free, Access Studio that is. Now let's talk about some of the things I would like to bring up to your attention. Now first of all, make sure you hold the charging dock with two hands at all times. They do come apart like I showed in the unboxing video, but basically what I don't want you to do is carry the sensor dock with one hand and it separates. Which I know I said I really like how small the sensors were, but at the same time, they look very fragile, so be very careful. Also, again, the dongle and the transceivers for the Perception Neuron 3 is small as well, so just take care whenever you're handling them and make sure you don't lose them. And Noitem may be considered ditching the USB dongle for licensing the software because it would be really nice to carry around a laptop with Access Studio and not having to carry and remember to carry the USB dongle for the license. Alright, so next thing for washing, the suit comes with mesh bags. So if you want to wash your straps or your head or your gloves, make sure to remove all the sensors first place them inside the mesh bags, wash them with cold water, and then just air dry. With all that being said, who is the Perception Neuron 3 for? If you're someone who wants to start doing VTubing, similar to what I'm doing now, even dancing as you all saw in my test, or want to make cinematics, you can probably get the PN3. Now, if you're someone who wants to do acrobatics and amazing super cool jumping stunts and backflips and expect not to clean up motion after, I would definitely look at other options. Additionally, even though the PN3 has improved magnetic interference from the V32, it's still smart to look for environments that are magnet free. So before you purchase, go ahead and buy a cheap magnet meter and see if your workspace will work with the PN3. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, like always, let me know, and I will see y'all later. So you want to make a movie in Unreal Engine 5, but you don't know how. Today is your lucky day.
How to Make a Movie in Unreal Engine 5 by JS Films. Out now.